Hey everybody, welcome back to Telling Lies. We're gonna probably watch more videos of David being a scumbag today. So when we last left off, we watched this one, but I don't think we know the counterpart to it, so... I'm probably gonna use the bookmark systems to um, keep track of which ones we haven't seen properly yet. There we go. You know how I was keeping my notes on my phone? When I was editing, I realized that there's a gigantic memo pad icon right here, and so what I did was I took the chance to transfer all of my notes over from my phone to the screen here so that we can all look at it. We already saw all this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, one important correction is that I think they only have one daughter instead of two, and I misunderstood a previous line. I have notes under each person's name, and I also have another timeline section here. We have a lot of different angles that we can come at this from today. We have several names that we know nothing about, including us, the person in the screen here, Karen. No idea who she is? Um, I mean, we could start anywhere right now. But, in the last clip we saw, David said the name Melissa, so maybe we'll just start with that. Only four clips of Melissa. Hmm. It's Melissa. No, it looks like he's Skyping somebody. It's Davey. This doesn't sound very sexy. Alright, stop barking. <laughs> uh, sing a song. He's webcamming somebody in the middle of the night because he's lonely, away from his wife, so on and so forth. Stop singing. Take your top off. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Stop. What's your real name? Where do you live? Are you lying to me? Do you like talking to me? What do you really think about me? What? Mm -hmm. From what he's saying, it sounds like he's talking to the cam girl. Because he's paying for a service. Melissa? Melissa? Okay. When I snap my fingers, wake up. Ha. <sighs> Remember how the cam girl had something to do with hypnosis, right? That was part of her services. She had a Sleeping Beauty thing going on. I feel like that might be related here. Okay. Hmm. 10 at night. Oh, this is the counterpart clip, right here. My name is Melissa. Oh, it's got a different setup here. Hey, Davey. I love the wig. I've worn it for three shows so far. I'm getting the masochist now. They're so easy to push around. <laughs> I owe you 
you would cut. Did you see today's special? Well, you just bought yourself a hypnotism show. No, no, no. This is the rules. You have to play along. Here I go. It's a different theme. Does she have contacts in? Her eyes look really light. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna tell her to bark like a dog. <laughs> this is like some weird fetish. Sing me a song. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I do nothing but think of you. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I do nothing but think of you. You keep me under your spell. You keep me under your spell. You keep me under your spell. And then he gets sick of it. And then he starts asking her, Oh, right, take off your top. How come he stops, though? My name is Melissa. I live in New York City. No. Yes. Dang, <laughs> You are the worst. Next time I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, before you go, you have to say wake up or else I'll just stay hypnotized. <laughs> say it! Mm -hmm. Wake up! Well, uh, if you like that kind of role-playing thing, this might be fun, I suppose. Melissa! Is her name really Melissa? She's working as a cam girl, so I feel like she might not necessarily want to give out a real name. He didn't give out his real name. He's not Davey. Okay. Hypnotism seems to be part of her routine and what people pay for. Wait. Hypnotism. And what else did we learn there just now? This is happening in February. February 26. Yeah, I think I'm gonna write that down. We'll just make it really big in the background and go back to it if we can. Yeah, I like this. February- wait, what? Oh my god, he was already sleeping with Ava in February. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, web- Camming Melissa. So he's not only cheating on his wife physically, but also webcamming this girl during the same period of time. What, is he like super lonely or is he just a scumbag? Oh hey, the counterpart. To the one we saw earlier. Melissa? Melissa isn't my real name. Yeah. But I know yours is David. When a man shares cam, I always recorded as Hold on. Forgot to watch from the beginning. She's in a different getup every time. I started this new yoga program and I'm feeling so much more flexible. I want to run a marathon and I need to get in shape. Want to help me work out? Hit me up on the private show and let's get loosened up together. She's not doing a free show. Mm. Gotta pay the bills. I like her first look better. Hi there, Nike one. Sure. Sure can. 81! Well, behave yourself. <laughs> she was talking to another person earlier in the first clip we saw of her, of a Prince Charming 81. That must have also been David.
band. This is when David's telling her about how, oh, I've changed. I've been put on medical leave. It's real. <laughs> okay. This. This isn't a bedroom. These are the sounds of New York City. Oh. Welcome to Cleveland, David. The suburbs. I'm from Ohio. I've always lived in Ohio. I used to work in real estate. I own two apartments, both underwater, and the mortgages kill me. My husband is a loading dock supervisor, and he doesn't mind what I do as long as I tell him how pathetic and lonely and strange my clients are. I only do this so I don't have to go to school and become a medical transcriptionist. So every day I log on here and hang out with you assholes when I could be doing anything else. And I massage your egos and let you jerk off. And sometimes I shake you down because, well, you know what? Fuck you. Melissa? Melissa isn't my real name. Mm. But I know yours is David. When a man shares Kim, I always record it as a safety precaution and sometimes a big earner if they deserve blackmail. Bank managers really don't want their wives to see their perverted emails. I have all your sessions saved on a hard drive under federal agent David. You ever cam with me again. I will send them to your bosses. I will sell them to whatever newspaper pays the most. I think we're done here. Whoa, I feel like we got a lot of information in this one. This seems like it's towards the end when something happened, a big fallout. I just wanted to really quickly go back to that one section about where she's giving... saying something about how, oh, I live in Cleveland and I have a husband. Yeah, are we missing anything here? He, she used to work in real estate, owns two apartments, she's rich. Ohio. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> time to change this already, right? No, but we don't know her real name. We just know she's Melissa. Mm, this 81 was David from last time. Anyway, though. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland is in Ohio, right? I think so. And has a husband. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like having these notes on the screen, but it makes it a little bit harder for me to take notes because I can only do it once I finish watching the video, as opposed to doing it right when I'm watching it. But we'll see, we'll see. Was that all the information we had? They had some kind of fallout here. David, was he falling in love with this woman for real? Isn't she- that's why she was taking the time to be like, Oh my god, David, are you for real? None of this is real. And I think that was this clip right here, so I can delete it now. I am done. With the I just fight people, you know? Because right, both our jobs, I mean, there was, we have an understanding. So, yeah. yeah, I think he thinks that they were in love or something. <laughs> Dumb guy. Leave. All I want to do is delete it. There we go. I wonder if we can find out her real name. Yeah, Melissa only gave back four searches, so this was a good search. But if we want to move on then, what angle should we go at this from? Mmm. We got one clip when we searched FBI or something about a mic and then an operation that went bad and back on April 25th. David said, what you did yesterday was totally unprofessional. So I'm hoping we can find a clip from April 24th that says more about that. But how about let's try going with Mike. Names seem to be easy sources of information. 11 records, some of which we've watched already. This one has a mic? What? I'm supposed to just call you Mike? Oh, that's completely unrelated. <laughs> okay, that was the first one. 
None of these are pairs. Is there some bad blood there? This one's a short one. Yeah, well, the mission's moved into phase two. We are driving to Silver Ridge Camp next week, and it will be very romantic. Yes, Ava's good friends, Eric and Peter, will be there too. Yeah, but, you know, thing is, there's some bad blood there, Mike. Something she's not telling me. Yeah. Yeah, it's really credible. And you know, when I told her I'd heard of this organizing group, though, I suggested we share a ride. Something came over her, though. Yeah. She's got stomach cramps. Mm, maybe. Anyway, I'll hang around the camp, let them see me with her, and let it sink in. Then I will make contact. That's my plan, by the book. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the best agent of them all? Hmm? Hmm? This Mike guy might be a colleague, because he knows about him being an FBI agent, and he's in on the whole thing, somehow. I just want to really quickly check the camp thing again. We got several names. Eric? Peter? Ava's hm. good friends. Oh, shoot! He's going camping with Ava. In that case, then camping might be a good one to think about, too. And this is in... This is in November! Oh my god! They were sleeping together in February, but in November... They had already met. Something about camping? Going camping, gone camping, with Ava, Peter, Eric. We do not have the counterpart to this one. Yes, there's some bad blood there. Okay. Seems like the wife knows about Mike too. Hey. Great, really great. How's your tofu? Well, we have lots of turkey left over. Thanksgiving. Let's open a box for you for when you make it home, whenever that might be. We've got mashed potatoes, we've got tons of pumpkin pie, but sorry, no more wine. We drank that. Yeah, I had a girl from work come by. She didn't have anyone, she loves cranberry sauce. Julie, the redhead. <laughs> Ruined. Don't be dramatic. You know, Thanksgiving's something we really just do for Alba's benefit anyway. And all she really wants is her dada, so... Who didn't come home for the recital. Maybe Mike could send over another agent to take your place? You know, that could work for me too. You know, there's only so much you can do over the phone. Are agents allowed to screw on assignment? <laughs> sure. Oh, like, uh, only fire your weapon if you intend to kill. <laughs> Gotta love a clean shooting. Alba wants to talk to you. Of course, mom is still here. Dada! I hate pumpkin pie. Is she just napping or sick? Mike sounds like David's boss. I've been practicing for my recital. Mama says she will give me five dollars if I sing. Oh, okay, so the recital didn't happen yet. You're going to be there? Daddy, watch this. No. <laughs> That's awful. Daniel, what are you doing there? Oh, she's forgetting his name. I thought you were at home. Did you step out? And a lot of other things. Hmm. 
Uh, you don't look like you're at work. Christ, I'm so tired. I fell asleep waiting for you to come home. Two drinks, and I'm out like a light. Happy Thanksgiving, honey. What? Wake me when you get in, okay? Wait, from a previous clip, I got the impression that Daniel was her husband. The father-in-law. But this is clearly David, right? Is... Yeah, because... The kid was talking to the screen, being like, Dada. Maybe this is an indication that Laura's getting dementia. Like one of the other clips earlier mentioned. So don't place too much on what we see here. Another one a bookmark, maybe? Yeah. Sooner or later, we're gonna have a lot here. Thanksgiving. That's one to remember, too. Did not go home for Thanksgiving. Is that the only one I had that time? Pretty much, I guess. Right, because remember, Emma suspected that her mom was getting dementia back in November as well, and Thanksgiving in the States is in November. In Canada, it's in October, but pretty sure we're in the States here. He was taking up a number two... Takeout? Yeah, well, Karen doesn't always know when a plane changes on the ground, let's be honest. Karen? Another agent? He was taking up a number two spot, Mike. And besides, now, no one would believe him FBI. And what agent would beat up on a member of the group he's trying to infiltrate? Hmm? He's trying to infiltrate into some group. Could be related to that company we heard about, Prosperin. Which is good, right? Hmm? Look, I got an official reprimand, true, but I'm still in. Because they feel horrible about looking the other way about Ava and Peter. I was the only one who had the balls to deal with their dirty little secret. What? Yeah, I hear you. But remember, the long game's getting into Greenstorm. Greenstorm. Oh, come on, you've never been close to flipping anyone near Greenstorm. No. Wrong. I let myself get angry. Okay? Besides, there's good news. The Karen's report failed to mention. Ava's moving in with me. What? And he's so happy about it, oh my god. Well, yeah, because we get to split the housework. <laughs> it's gotta look like a real relationship, right? Hmm? Implying that it might be fake? I got this all under control. I promise. I think he's talking to Mike here. Is starting fake relationships and having sex with people part of an FBI agent's duties, though? Oh? Hey. Hey. I'll keep out of your hair. What the hell? Oh, I think I'm at work or something. Hold on. Somebody works behind me. I thought this was just some random house. Oh, whoa. Karen seems to be with the FBI, according to what David's saying here. And then... What date was that clip? February 22nd. Right, so... They moved in together... During this time. When exactly, what date... Did he start sleeping with her? I don't know. But probably after they moved in. Or... Ava moved in with David. Sleeping with him. There you go. So they were living together and he was webcamming Melissa at the same time. Oh my god. This guy. 
add a bookmark there. Where did the word Mike appear? He was taking up a number two spot, Mike. Right, so he was talking to Mike. Okay. And then this one, March 3rd. He said Mike like a thousand times. Mike. Mike. Three things, okay? First, I want confirmation that anything they took from Peters, including all of the video, is destroyed. Not entered into evidence and not archived. I want it destroyed. Clear? Anything they took from Peters, including the video, there's some kind of video evidence of something. Okay, second, this informant of yours, uh, Dopey, He's trying my patience. Half his clothes look brand new, Mike. And the, the questions he asks, I mean, they're, they're straight up pivoted to serve a judge. It's so obvious. You have to pull him. Dopey? No, no, he is a liability. And listen to me. Where is this boat? Okay, because I need to push them now, Mike. Now, while they're reeling over Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't lie to me, Mike. Come on. Yeah, and everything's legit because I'm not going to deal with any of this Donnie Brasco bullshit. Okay, good. Look, I'm sorry, Mike. We're getting to the hard part, man. And I'm getting nervous. I can't get tripped up here. Thank you, sir. Sir. Mike might be like his boss. Then Karen is also... Let's start a new thing for Mike somewhere. Do I not have one? I don't think so. Mike. Uh, David's boss? David was sent to this place to do some sort of operation, and... I think it probably went wrong. Something went horribly wrong. But at the same time, he's also been cheating on his wife. And then I think something went wrong over there, too, with a new girl, and Peter. Peter. Okay. How many bookmarks am I allowed to keep? I'm not even sure. Hmm, but I'll save this one, too. Mike. We don't have the videos for Mike, so maybe this is something we'll never get the counterpart for. Okay, Peter. Yes, 13 records matched. These two are pairs. Uh-huh, and then these other ones, 4, 12, 12, 2, 14. Doesn't match anything we have. Let's watch the pair ones first. These ones tend to be the easiest to understand. February 2nd. Probably before they moved in. That's why they're still talking via the webcam. Hey, boo. Boo. You're not coming over tonight? Pretty tired too, and I got an early start tomorrow, so. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay, right, with me hanging out with the organizing group? Organizing group? Hmm. I mean, I wasn't talking about Eric, actually, because you don't like his friend Peter, do you? Okay. Is there anything I should know? Okay, do you want me to hang out with you while you sleep? <laughs> that sounds kind of passive-aggressive. Ah, looks like I've got some competition. Oh, hey, Worm. Hey, are you- are you- are you putting the moves on my girl, bro? You're a girl. Ah, <sighs> while your wife is stressing at home. Yes. True, but I can do things for Ava that you can't.
That's a kid's toy, you pervert. Wait, you just said it's ungendered. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no big surprise that the radioactive glow-in-the-dark bug wasn't entirely harmless. So when do I get to meet your mom? They're that serious? What if being with this girl has to do with his job? High stakes. But I hear Florida's nice though. Florida. Okay. Good night, worm. The more I watch, the more confused I get. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Yeah, if we're gonna... Peter and Eric. The camping thing. Oh, there's so much. Let's watch the counterpart. Fuck. Howdy. Hmm, I'm too tired. Billy was sick today, so I had to work both shifts. And, of course, it's National Record Store Day, so I didn't get a moment to myself. I mean, who needs that much reissued Madonna vinyl? Oh, he, she works at a record store. I thought she worked at a hotel because of what we saw before. With Eric. You don't like his friend Peter too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eric's a friend. He used to tease me because my grandma scabbed at the axle strike, but he's a serious guy. Fuck Peter. <laughs> He's a dick, that's all. He's a dick. No, it's okay. I've got my glow worm with me tonight. It's cute, ungendered, and it doesn't take up all the space in the bed. Hey, David. Your girl? I've been with Ava since she was 12. We go way back. You're the new guy! Ooh -hoo -hoo, you wanna bet? I'm 12 inches of ribbed plastic. And I'm warm. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, but he's seen me turn from girl to woman. You know, he's seen it all. Busted. You know, they discontinued these because they're made of, like, toxic plastic or something. So my mom got them real cheap. Yeah, I think she figured that I wouldn't try and eat it, so... She has a ring. Uh, if you want to treat us to plane tickets to Florida, I can arrange something. But I'm warning you. If you meet my mom and she doesn't like you, it's like over. <laughs> eh, that's where people go to die ordinary. Good night. Hold on, I do want to look it up. Which hand is the wedding ring on? Left hand. Okay, so she has a ring on her right hand. I guess that's okay. It seems like they're getting really serious though. And it's not even like this girl is the one trying to make it like that. David's actively being like, Hey, so when am I going to meet your mom? Like, whoa. Do you want to like marry her or what? He's really proactive here. Let me just see if I can update some of my notes here. This is a little bit... Uh, I wish I had a better format to put my notes, but this is probably the best way for me to show you what I have. There was a whole bunch of stuff earlier about how... Oh yeah, there was a thing about how, I think, David beat somebody up? Beat someone up? And it's related to Ava and Peter. 
Mm, hold on. I'm just gonna write down some keywords here. Green storm, whatever that is. This is related to Peter... Video. Video evidence at Peter's. And then organizing group. That was one of the keywords that came up. Hates Peter. Ava hates Peter. Likes Eric. They all seem to be part of... Some environmentally friendly thing. Maybe opposing the company that they talked about before. David also mentioned an informant named Dopey earlier. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll go back to these ones then. This was in... This is one day before. Hey, what's the, um... What's the Whoa, two MP? people! <sighs> this is nice. Yeah. You want a uh, beer or something? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know, Wesley, he didn't mean anything by what he said today, right? Sure. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's actually a really friendly guy. Um, he just gets nervous around It's David's house. They're all thrill seekers. And he's jealous. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Why is that? Because he used to drive us everywhere. Oh! I, <laughs> I got a bigger van. You got a bigger van. <laughs> the male ego is a terrible thing. It is. <laughs> yeah, cheers, man. Cheers to that. Hey, what's the, um, what's the deal with Abe and Peter? Mm. You know, I... I asked him not to come to that party. Oh, yeah? Tell me what's going on. Tell me. Did they used to date? <laughs> Christ, David. Oh, you look uncomfortable. Yeah, I am uncomfortable. Have mm -hmm. a look. This is not my place. If you want to know about this, you need to speak to Ava. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> I should have done better. What? Okay. What happened? Peter was our missing stare, and everybody else knew, but I was slow to catch on. He liked to, um, give girls drugs. Oh my god. He'd make videos sometimes. He said it was consensual. <laughs> but sometimes the girls would wake up and they didn't know what had happened. Fuck. Fuck, Eric. And by the time I found out, it was old news, you know? And I told myself, it's just the scene. There's lots of drugs and sex going on. And you know, Ava was attracted to Peter. Peter knew who all the bands were. Ava wanted to make a name for herself. She was very impressed by him, okay? So how old, how old was Ava? She said she was 18, but she wasn't. Oh my God. <laughs> so Ava accused Peter and everybody took sides. And I told myself that I needed to be impartial. Mm -hmm. And I let her down. Yeah, you didn't protect her? Mm -hmm. What was I supposed to do, David? Call the police? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are already looking for any excuse to take us down. I couldn't do that. I didn't even have any facts. I just... I told myself it was a private matter between two people. Mm -hmm. It was a one-off, and... I just didn't want to see a pattern there. Peter is trying to be a good man. Yeah, and you. What about me? Well, he's still out there walking the street, so I'm not so sure. But I mean, how are you gonna make this right? I don't think I can make this right, David. Not now. Well, brother, it's never too late. You know? Now get out of my house. I 
I gotta smoke. Uh, no, 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 not in here. Gotta smoke up on the roof. I'll go with you. My landlord's got rules about smoking. Great. Okay, so we can probably see why... Oh, hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Why does this video exist in the first place? Because David is trying to gather evidence and he's planting cameras around in his own house to try to get information from Eric? Possibly. This one won't have a counterpart. It's not a webcam. Ah, suddenly things are starting to make sense. Was drugged by... Videotaped. Drugged. Videotaped. By Peter. Yeah, that's pretty serious. And that's probably related to how David beat somebody up because the video was taken from Peter's place. Something like that. Oh dear. Not likes Eric as in like, romantically. <laughs> but I'll know what it means when I look at it. Oh my god. Apparently Peter is trying to be a good person now. Uh, Drugged girls. Apparently trying to be a good person now. Who knows though, he's not behind bars, never got any sort of punishment. Dang. And then this was February 1st, so the next day, he asked Ava about it, but all Ava said was he's a dick. 